Later that day, Graham's plan soon got into action. They were waiting at Titmouth Yard. They taken the bait, puffed Percy. Yeah, and now the plot thickens, said Thomas. Do you think it's a good idea, sir? Asked oh, Sally. Why shouldn't it be, Sally? Said the fat controller. They're going to give them an April Fool's prank they'll never forget. <laughs> Meanwhile, James and Mata were waiting for a new coat of paint. Graham had invited them. Then James had another idea. Something will be coming soon. Let's peep her while we wait. Some see Shrundle into the yard. James and Mater got ready with their horns and whistle. Graham got ready too. He was going to surprise whistle. Beep! Some see shot backwards. And soon things started to go a little high mire. Some see bumped into a truck so hard they burst through the buffers, went across another track that the yard, went into the wall, the cheese ingredients shot into the air, and splattered down all over Mater, Sumsey, and James. Oh my, cried the cars. Cinders and ashes! What the hell was that? cried Thomas. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen! Something scream went on at a buffer part! puffed Graham. What do you think of one, sir? Oh, I'm not sure, Sally, but we gotta make sure we're okay. Let's go down there. Yeah, <coughs> Stinky seaweed! Okay! Look! <laughs> Cover us up like this while we're being painted! Um, April Fools? said Sally. You guys! Oh, I can't believe it! You guys are so infamous! Wait till we tell the fat control on you! Um, you have been pranking everyone, so I'm afraid you two shall be punished. What? You guys tried to blow us up like this with cheese ingredients and you're punishing us, groaned James. But you don't understand, said Thomas. It wasn't even supposed to happen. Yeah, I want you to promise to bump the buffers and pin you out a pixie fairy. Yeah, but the buffers part went awfully wrong. Then Amy and Bert pulled up. They were very pleased with themselves. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh yeah, we bought a greatest prank in the world. Now we are the king of the pranksters. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, except... Crashing for the buffers was not supposed to happen. Oh, um, did I forget to, um, uh... Yeah, it's my set of you were supposed to explain her. Uh, that's enough. Silence. <sighs> and now back to our war. James and Mater. By going pranking everyone. No passing the train pulling and no car towing for six weeks. Oh man. Oh my king. <gasps> oh man. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I mean, Bert, don't think I've forgot about you two. Since it's your first day back, I need to punch you a little bit. Three weeks, no trains, whatsoever. Oh, man. I hate Miss Mary all over again. Get used to it. You're living here for the rest of your life. I mean, you stop speaking Portuguese. <coughs> Anyways, Thomas, Graham and Percy, since you and our cast have been good this episode, You'll be rewarded. Yippee! After you clean up this mess, he added, and the cheese needs to be ready for tasting by tea time. Oh, man! As soon as the workman had reloaded the seaweed, Thomas started to work. But the car still wanted to play. They wanted to play a cheese and slime ball fight. No more jokes, whistled Thomas. 
We have work to do. And he shunts a truck into the siding. Neat trucks of herbs were now ready, and Graham shunted it into the siding too. At last the workman got the sunflower seeds ready, and Percy shunted it into the siding too. Soon, they were taken to the dairy, and the cheese was made ready for the tasting. And it wasn't even tea time. The fat controller tried the first piece. It was all combined together. Mmm. Take sunflower seeds, pineapple, herbs. Yes, I declare this the official new flavour of cheese on the island of Sodor. Well, at least we got that king of plants thing over with, Pete Percy happily. But it's not over yet, Percy. There's still one more plank to pull before the day is done, explained Thomas. Watch and learn. I hate little mentions. I hate little diesel engines. I hate big engines and torch trucks. I hate big red engines and rusty torch trucks. We don't love you. Detour, detour, detour. Shut up. Oh, sir, can you just let us back out? Yeah, we want to do our jobs again. Two things. No, that's the first thing. And second, I'm here, sir. I got you a present. It's in my truck that Graham Scott. Oh, a present! Oh. Hey, calm down. Now, why don't you just open it right now? While me and Graham go very far away. Oh, a minute later. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ow! Ow! Oh. April Fool's! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha, ha, the pranks on me, lucky duh. I quit. I'm not playing any more pranks again. Me neither. Me neither. So do I. So, can you please end this episode already? Oh, fine. So, in the pilot line, later James and Bert were punished, and we got to see some funny stuff by them stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, goodbye.